Hey what's up everyone welcome back to another video in this video we are going to show you how to install macOS Catalina on VirtualBox on Windows PC for the interest of full disclosure this video is for educational purposes only so let's get started first off we are gonna need a couple of things the first thing we are gonna need is VirtualBox with its extension pack next up we are gonna need macOS Catalina VirtualBox image file and macOS Catalina VirtualBox boot image file. Another thing we will need for the installation is commands for the VirtualBox or code for VirtualBox. And last but not least, we are gonna need macOS Catalina screen resolution code. For extracting these files, we will need WinRAR or 7zip that works great. So go ahead and take a copy of all these files from the links to these files from the description down below. When you're done with it, extract them all and you're ready to jump in. In case if you encounter some sort of problems when downloading, you can always fix it from the instructions link in the description down below. With that done, let's get into it. First off, fire up the VirtualBox setup and install it as usual. Hit next on the wizard until it's done and when you're done with it, click finish. When the VirtualBox appeared, click on new. Then type macOS Catalina for the name of the machine, specify where to store the virtual machine files, then increase the amount of memory to the half of your system's memory, then select use an existing virtual hard disk, browse for it and select macOS Catalina VirtualBox image file. Then click choose and at the end click on create. Once that's done, open up the machine settings and change the chipset, then head to processors and go ahead increase it to the maximum point. Next to the display tab, increase the amount of video memory to the highest and change the graphics controller to VMS VGA. Then on the next tab which is storage, hit the add disk button, then click choose existing disk, then click on add and browse the VirtualBox boot image file and select it. Then click choose, that done, navigate to the USB tab and change the USB version to 3.0 and click OK. Now open up the file menu, click on preferences, then extensions, click on add. Browse the VirtualBox extension pack and click on install. Agree with terms and conditions and when it's done, click on OK. Then click OK on the machine settings. Once you do that, close out of the VirtualBox and open up the commands for the VirtualBox. Copy the first line of the commands, then open the command prompt and paste it in there, then hit enter. Next up, copy and paste the next line of the commands, then hit enter. With that done, close up everything on the screen and fire up the virtual box then start the machine. Now before 5 second pause, hit the escape key and type down the command on the screen. It will load up macOS Catalina installing on virtual box so it would take up some while for the installation. Without doing anything it will boot up into the actual installation screen. From this point you can set up the Mac like normal by proceeding with a few prompts, creating your account and when it will be all done you will eventually see macOS Catalina up and running on the VirtualBox. But that's not the perfect installation in terms of the screen resolution. So go ahead and close the VirtualBox from the top and click power off the machine. Then close the VirtualBox and open up the screen resolution code. There copy the first line of the command and open up the command prompt, paste it in there and press enter. The same goes for the next line of the command except choosing the screen resolution you would like to change to. You can simply change the screen resolution from the end of the commands where it is written the screen resolution. So you can change the screen resolution to the one that works for you. But for most, it works super fine. So copy and paste the commands to the command prompt, then hit enter. Once that's finished, close out of the things and open up the virtual box, then switch on the machine and everything should work perfectly fine. The machine should now boot up with the specific resolution. So switch to the full screen resolution by pressing right control plus F then click switch on the window. And there it is, macOS Catalina running seamlessly on VirtualBox. Now you can check out things as well as the software version, change settings, install new apps and all to there it is. Thanks for watching the video, if you like the video, subscribe to our channel, hit like on the video and you're all set.